Hi everyone, you know it's Wednesday night. I wasn't going to do a wine diary tonight, but I just couldn't help myself. So anyway, I'm going to try some more pineapple wine. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for our Wine Wednesday, part of the Wine Diary series. Having so much fun with this. It gives me a chance to kind of dress up, have a little fun, chit chat with you guys. And the best part is I get to have snacks and I get to think about all day, what the heck am I going to drink tonight? What am I going to eat? So anyway, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did some pineapple wines, and I tried three different wines. None of them really stuck out and said, oh, go buy me again. And I wasn't going to do pineapple wines again. I just thought, well, if I ever get one, you know, maybe I'll play with it, do something different. But then when my bosses gave me a case of wine for my birthday, one of the wines in there was a pineapple wine, so I thought I would give it a go. So this one is Trade Winds Pineapple Wine. And I'm sure it helped. This one's 12% alcohol, so it may be a little stronger than the ones we had a couple of weeks ago. You know, I really need to get some of those lays to kind of decorate like a luau or something. So anyway, but I wanted to doctor it up. So I grabbed my water pitcher that's got the... Uh, thing inside so that you can do some fruits and for infused water so I thought why not put my some wine in there so I put a little bit of wine in there and I got some um, I bought some frozen pineapple and some frozen blueberries and I didn't think about it till probably about 12 o'clock that I put it in because I wasn't going to do a wine diary today but I just had to so I've got this kind of it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a few hours kind of getting some of those the flavors in there and um I just thought I would try the wine first, see how I like this wine by itself, and then we'll try it, kind of docked it up, kind of like a pineapple sangria, maybe. So, what did I have for dinner tonight? Alrighty, so it's kind of a hodgepodge here. So, I wanted something pineapple-y, but, you know, I love the Pico de Gallo and things like that. So, I got some of the more Pico de Gallo. This time I bought the hot one, so it's got a little, probably a little bit more cilantro in it. It's got this garlic in it and some peppers, some onions, and it just lump, a little bit of lime, I think, and it just, it's really good by itself, but then I put some kind of, <laughs> excuse me, some kind of pineapple in there as well. I got some of that crostini bread. I sliced it thin, and I sliced some brie cheese, uh, baked it in the oven with the brie cheese, and then when it came out, I put on the pico de gallo that's been kind of marinating with the pineapple, and then because I had so much pico de gallo left, I just got some tortilla chips right here with some of the uh, pico de gallo here with the pineapple in it. And then I made some sweet and sour chicken with some extra cut up pineapple and some maraschino cherries. What's wrong with me? I just kind of lose my breath here. And so that's what the uh, crostini bread looks like with the uh, pico de gallo with the pineapple on it and the melted brie cheese. So. I am excited to try this, have this a little bit later. And again, I just want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It just really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, so anyway, if you are new to my channel, I hope that you hit that little red subscribe button before you go. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And to my subscribers, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Alrighty, so, okay, so I got another dress from Amazon. I was not going to get any more, but I could not resist this one because I think I need more purple to go with my purple hat. So this is another one of those kind of like rockabilly halter, halter style. It's got the sweetheart neckline. I got my petticoat on underneath. So we got black flowers, we got purple flowers, a lot of white, and this one, I got my petticoat on underneath, but this one even has its own little purple lace trim. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, 
watch how I sit so I don't slide off with my petticoat on. I even brought back my mascot. I haven't had them over here in a while, so my wine mascot. And of course, my fake candles so that I don't have to worry about setting my hair on fire. Alrighty, so ready to try this trade winds. Like I said, it's a I put some in there, but I didn't want to use the whole thing just in case I didn't like it. I'm just gonna pour this. I probably didn't need that much. There's my Nancy's wine diary glass from Amazon. Now this one was from Personal Creations. Yeah. Smells pineapple-y and wine. Cheers, everyone. Happy Wine Wednesday. Mm. This one does have a little bit more flavor than the other three that I tried. Would I go out and buy it again on my own? Probably not. Unless I was having like another, maybe like a luau type theme and more food with pineapple, things like that. Then maybe something like that would be good. But on its own, I probably would not go out and buy it again. I wish I didn't put so much in my glass. I should probably go get another glass. Anyway, I'm going to drink this fast so that I can try the other one. So I'll be right back. As soon as I figure out where the button is anyway. Alrighty, so I'm back. I actually had a little bit of my dinner to finish that wine so I wasn't gulping it. That Cristini bread with the hot spicy pico de gallo with the pineapple in it that's been marinating for a few hours. That was excellent. I would definitely have that again. I don't know what the kind of cheese other than brie to put on it. I mean, I suppose even a cheddar cheese would be good or maybe like a gouda cheese, maybe. Maybe goat cheese or something soft like that. That I wonder if you can use cream cheese. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that, but that was really good. Alrighty, so here's my picture. And if I can show you what that thing is in case no one else has done I haven't done this for a while when I first started to lose weight years ago and I wanted uh, to drink more water and I bought some of these things so normally if you were going to fill it with water you would fill this whole little center thing with um, whatever food you wanted to one of my favorites was um, apple sliced apple some cinnamon sticks and mint that was really good I know a lot of people like like the cucumber and things like that, but I just it was just too strong for me. But apple was one of my favorites. Alrighty, so we're gonna pour some in here. And of course, if you don't have an infuser, an infuser thing, you could always just put the fruit in there loose. Other than if you have like um, straw, small like blueberries and things like that, then it might get kind of stuck. But. But anyway, I enjoy doing that. I've got more of these downstairs, too. I should go get some more and just start doing more infused water. Alrighty, so it's just got a little kind of a glow. It wasn't, marin it wasn't in the refrigerator, I think, long enough to really get the blueberries. But normally, I love the blueberries because it, it gives it a really nice, pretty color. Pineapple with the pineapple wine. I just thought it would be really nice. Another one that I liked was orange, sliced oranges. It was kind of like a nice breakfast water. Alrighty, I'm going to give this a try, see what it's like. And it does smell a little bit more pineapple-y, smells a little bit sweeter. Mm. This has got more flavor without being stronger. It's got probably a little bit more health benefits because it's got the fresh fruit in there that's been mar that's been infusing. I keep wanting to say marinating, but I think infusing is the right word. It really does have some nice flavor. And I know I've got, because we used to do it at work every now and then too, so I got some of those, um, the big glass ones with the little spigot thing on the bottom that you put on a stand. So it used to be fun. We used to do that at work every now and then. We'd all take turns, bring it in and have our, our own infused water. And I got that from St. Cloud Hospital. Uh, they had free water there when you went to the cafeteria for like breaks and things. And they had like a flavored water of the day. And that was how I got that idea with the infused water. But anyway, so it's really good. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking, 
time out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I'd love to hear your comments on what you do for Wine Wednesdays or any flavors or wines you'd love me to try and just do something like this with and have a little snack with it. I wish you guys were here to join me. That would really be fun. So anyway, cheers everyone. Happy Wednesday. Take care everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Fourth of July is coming up. I'm actually filming this. It, it's Sunday night. It's the 29th, but it's not going to film till next week. Um, post till next week. And um, yeah, so I'm I think this is probably going to be after the 4th of July. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July weekend and looking forward to the next weekend. Cheers, everyone. Stay safe. Love you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.